Hi, welcome to L3 Sports, where we are always learning lessons from life. Now over to Moe's with the baseball standings. The 26 games left in the MLB um, season, here are your division leaders. The Toronto Blue Jays, Kansas City Royals, and your Houston Astros follow close in the wild card are the New York Yankees and Texas Rangers. The division leaders in the in the National League are New York Mets, St. Louis Cardinals, and the LA Dodgers fall close with the wild card with the wild card teams are Pittsburgh Pirates and Chicago Cubs followed close by the Washington Nationals. Thank you, Moe's, for that wonderful MLB standings update. For all you, um, as you can see, Cubs are in the wild card, card race. For all you baseball fans out there, you probably know that Cubs have a reputation for, well, not being very good. Most fans think this is because of the curse of the Billy Goat, also known as the Cubs curse. One day, Billy Sinus brought his pet goat to the Game 4 of the 1945 World Series. The Cubs were playing the Detroit Tigers. Billy paid for box seat tickets, but was still thrown out due to the goat's terrible odor. Supposedly, Billy put a curse on the Cubs, and they haven't won a World Series since then. Most Cubs fans are trying to reverse the curse and believe this is the year. It's going to happen. The Cubs are currently seven games ahead with 26 games to go in the wild card. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. Coke is not paying me to do this, but I really like Coke. Hey, who drank all my Coke? Mm. And now over to Rhett for the joke of the week. Where do fish like to go in the summer? Finland! <laughs> ah. And now, here are your top 10 college football scores of week one. Um, Ohio State plays Labor Day night at 8 o'clock against Virginia Tech. TCU defeated Minnesota at a score of 23-17. to Alabama Crimson Tide defeated Wisconsin at a score of 35-17. to um, the Baylor Bears defeated Southern Methodist 56-21. to Michigan State defeated Western Michigan 37-24. to Auburn defeated Louisville 31-24. to The Oregon Ducks defeated Eastern Washington 61-42. to um, Eastern California Trojans defeated Arkansas State 55-6. to The Georgia Bulldogs defeated Louisiana Monroe 51-14. to Florida State Seminoles defeated Texas State 59-16. The greatest upset of the week was number 15, Arizona State lost to Texas A&M 17-38. <laughs> That's disarming. <laughs> we can learn a lot of life lessons through sports, can't we, Audrey? Yes, we can. Take a look at these videos. Three-man rush. Mangum, all kinds of time. Steps into the throw, in the wind, down to the goal line, and caught! Touchdown, BYU! Five left. Hogan, out. Intercepted. Picked off by Cairo. And instead of trying to take it to the house, he shut it down so they can come out and take a knee. I don't know if I'm Carroll, I think I might be trying to take that one 100 yards for the score, but I give him credit for being heads up, because yeah. that ends the ball game. It really is, because the only way Stanford can win is if you take that ball, run for a touchdown, then they get it back. That's the only way. Yeah, this is... As you see in the first video, BYU threw a Hail Mary against Nebraska. Eight people tried to be heroes and get an interception, but they lost because they took their eye off the prize. On the contrary, a Northwestern player laid down in humility for the team. Hey, Audrey, got any Bible for that? As a matter of fact, I do. In Philippians 2, 3, it says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition, but in humility consider others as more important than yourself. Join us next week as we continue learning life lessons through sports. Yay.